wheel just starts like this and the wheel pops off. Oh my god. <laughs> Saturday, the guys are in the back working on their cars. Let's go check it out. What do we got going on over here? Makes sense, we gotta record something and everyone just starts. Yeah. Ah, act busy, quick! We got Ed putting in some fresh, fresh fortunes. Brand new. What series are these? Uh, the 500s. They have the Swift springs and the radial bearings in the front. Factory ones just they're rotten, water's leaking. Just uh, giving up the ghost after 25, 30 years. Yep. Nice R33 GTST stock wheels, really ugly. <laughs> Super ugly. Hey, what are your wheels getting? Yeah, what do you got? Wheels getting Monday. What are they? What are they? Rays, Gramites, 57 DRs. Nice, nice. Oh, we got some action going on over here too. That was a workout for the year. <laughs> This is my new welded diff, so I can drift this car. This is my G35 and project. The other one too. G35 sedan, stock diff out. New diff, about to go in. All right, new diff. Yeah, it's got new stock. You would think you would know. <laughs> you would think you would know. You would, you would think so. What do you mean by welded diff? Why do you so, want a welded diff? It has a VLSD in it, and when you're drifting... A VLSD is uh, viscous, right? So that means fluid. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so it has clutches in it. When you continue the drift, if you let out, your car's just going to keep spinning. So you want to lock the gears so they're always spinning at the same speed at the same time. Okay, so factory, it's like a one and a half way kind of yes, diff. Kinda. <clears throat> where it's, now uh, it's a full first, two way, 100% locked. Welded diff. Oh yeah. So now they both spin at the same both time. Both spins at the same time. So it's 100% locked in. And this is for drifting, oh, yeah. basically, is the reason you want this. This is Travis. Say hello, world. What's up? What's up? World says hello. So if I was to do a burnout in this diff, yeah, the rear wheels would spin both right at, at first, and then one would give out, and then you're just spinning one. It's a one wheel one, peel, kind of. Right, that's why when Ed moves his car around, it's, it's difficult to do oh, yeah. in tight yeah, spots. So these are Ed's coilovers he's taken off. Still Fortune Auto, but they've been on there for years. Long time. Still look good though. Not as good as that. Like I said before in a video, these Fortune Autos are just really high quality. And then you add the Swift Spring, gives you a good ride and good performance. Big baller shift knob. Now he's got a good dildo. Oh, snap. You gonna go out and test drive it, Ed? I'm definitely gonna see how she rides. Why, why are you out here in shorts? I don't know. Feels good. Okay. You're crazy. <laughs> Hey, what's this pile of uh, stuff over here? So, I swapped the interior on my car on Saturday. And now, after owning the car since 2005, 
I have black interior. Okay, what is this, like navy blue? Yeah, yeah it's Does like a super dark blue, midnight blue. Yeah, it doesn't look that good. No. <laughs> I see why you swapped it. Yeah, so you wanna see the new interior? Well, let's go check it out. Perfect. Damn, it smells, the, uh, smells good in here, dude. <laughs> That's a squash. <laughs> That's squash. Yeah, this is nice. What do you need to do? I need to mount my oil pressure gauge. Like, it's just kind of sitting in my glove box right now. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Drift car, right? Yep. That's clean, though, dude. Looks good. Thanks, man. It looks so much better than it did. How long have you had this car yet? Well, I've had it, like I said, since 2005. Got it in June. Had a single cam K in it. Spinner hubcaps. Spinner hubcaps. Legit. It had blown head gasket. Paid 350 bucks for it. And then I've dumped, I don't know how much money into it. And this is how it sits now. Well, you came a long way, I mean. There's a whole lot to it. Yep. Right out the door, how much would you sell this car for? <laughs> 25,000. 20, 25,000 25, out the door, you hear that? Nice, but I mean, it's, it's full of quality parts. So I mean, it's well worth it, I'm sure. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I, like I, I put a lot of work into it. I, I wanted to keep it, you know, clean. The paint's taken a little bit of a beating since I started drifting it. <laughs> What's up guys? So we're still at the shop. Chris is working on his car. Chris, what do you got going on, man? We are cutting this out uh, because we want to give the tires more area to turn when it has more angle. Okay. So we just get rid of this whole section right here. And that so. makes it to where the tire, when you're at full lock, is not going to hit any of this stuff underneath here. It's probably already rubbed. Yeah. It's rubbed a good, good little amount. bit of action here. Doing a little grinding. So you got them all cut out. What you got going on, man? A little bit of measuring. Oh, why are you measuring? I don't want to say. You don't want to say? Oh, it's a secret, man. Secret? Yeah. Top secret. Nobody can know this until it's done. Just, just wait. I, have a, I got a thing I'm doing. So we're just finishing up the steam seal. I got it all laid in there. Just putting a plate of, uh, see plate you. of paint on it now. Making everything blend in. Yeah. What is this? Is this... Chris in his natural habitat? Oh, he spots something. I got some gap. See, so you got that one in there. A little off of this back side and just try to move it. It'll slide in a little bit. I want it a little further this way anyway. And then okay. I'll put the third one in right, right there. I got you. I got you. Should look pretty good. What is this? This is not a green hood. What hood is this? This is the Origin Type 2. Okay. Yep, I'm uh, fitting it, trying to get ready to go paint. Looks good. It's yeah. coming along. I need to do a little bit more adjusting yet. But. What's on the back? I finished up what I was uh, doing much is this, to show you is this, this is this top this, secret thing. This is top secret, sir. Uh, can I show you? Now that it's done, yes. You know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ready for this? Three, two, one. Whoa. Got a new wang. It's a super rear JDM. It's like one off. Hot boy. You would think it's low, but it used to be lower. Well, it's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. coming along, man. Yeah, I'm glad you came in today, dude. <laughs> so you looking to buy another car? Yeah, I'm, well, I'm trying to get an S13. Okay. Yeah. You gonna slide? I'm not. No. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna. Eventually, I would like to like grip. Grip drive yeah, that's what I like. I'm, I'm more of a grip guy too, as well. Yeah, yeah. It, he's a slider. I was like, nah. Bro, it's 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 he's it's, it's, it's our gang. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. I was trying to find a car for my mom and I drove to North Carolina like three hours. 
And this chick did not have the title, like, ready to go. She thought it was going to be, like, we would come back another day. And I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Like, so you wasted your time, basically. Yeah. <laughs> it's I have so many stories, like, you don't even want to No. Yeah, I don't. It would just make you feel bad. Mm-hmm. But feel free to tell them. I went down there to buy a 240 hatch one time. It was 1200 bucks, And uh, I'm like, hey, I'm driving four hours from Lynchburg down to get it. Yeah. He says, okay, yeah, that's cool. I said, it's good for me to drive back and see. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. He said, then, you know, it does have, like, open header, so it doesn't have an exhaust on it, so it's loud. So I drive down there, and I'm, like, looking at the car, and it seems to be, like, a decent little car. So I'm like, well, can I take it around the block? Oh, yeah, that's cool. So I take it around the block, and it's got an eBay quick release steering wheel on it. So I'm, like, driving it, and it's so loud. Like, I get it in second, get it around the corner, and, and the wheel just starts, like this, and the wheel pops off. Oh my god. Like, I'm on a four lane road like, down <laughs> in Virginia Beach. Like, yeah, yeah. Virginia I'm like, oh my gosh. So What'd you do? I like, I like hand the steering wheel to Rhonda because she's sitting beside me. And then I just <laughs> like in the corner and I'm like, what is this garbage, man? So I'd have literally only gone like a quarter of a mile from this house. So I just turned around and like made a U with the yeah. block. I was like, nah, man, I'm good. I appreciate it. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Just don't buy 240. Really? <laughs> well, I was gonna buy a Corrado. The uh. wiring in those cars is so brittle from the factory mm-hmm. that, like, they catch on fire. No, that's sketchy, because uh, then if you buy it somebody, that might happen to you. That's like, what are you doing? Right. Oh, I mean, you've been to death. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so we're doing the uh, video for the Black Supra. Tevin's out there, Vontae's out there taking pictures. We're gonna get some audio. Hopefully this video comes out pretty good. I'm sure it will, because Tevin does awesome work. All right, Ed, we're ready. Incoming. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. So this is usually how the video goes. Uh, we'll find a spot, we'll get some beauties, get some rollers, and hopefully everything works out good. Hopefully we don't have too much traffic or anything like that. So what do you think of it, Ed? It's pretty sweet, dude. Yeah. I think it. Power good? Yeah, I'm gonna do some burnouts in it. Some burnouts. Just wait, just wait. Probably. See, this is what happens. We get traffic, we get the perfect shot, and then we can't follow through. It looks so good, so good.